The Maasai community harbors one of the richest cultures in Africa today. With a population of about half a million people, the Maasai occupy a total land area of about 160,000 square kilometers in the southern part of Rift Valley, Kenya. In Magadi Division, Kajiado County in southwest Kenya, the maternal mortality rate is 500 by 100,000 live births, which is persistently higher than the national average of 488 per 100,000 live births. This, besides cultural practices, is highly contributed by low facility deliveries. Meet Kumolashu Sayanka, a mother of four and a resident of Ilparako village in Magadi. Kumolashu is expecting her fifth child and she approximates to be in her ninth month of pregnancy. Kumolasho admits that she noticed a huge difference between delivering at home and delivering in the hospital. Nkarsis Rise, a mother of four in the same village, has only delivered in the hospital once. Get on one. I don't know how to do it. 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 Garcis delivered her third child in the hospital, but only because she had been admitted for being anemic. Cultural practices such as gender imbalance, low level of education among girls, female genital mutilation, lack of male involvement in sexual and reproductive health decision making are among some of the challenges facing this community. Risa Nailenya, Nkarsi's husband, believes that culture has clearly defined his responsibility as a man.
Among the Maasai, traditional bath attendants are regarded as the custodians of culture, a status which gives them a great influence on women's behavior by discouraging facility delivery and delaying referral by prioritizing traditional practices. <laughs> Il Paraco Dispensary is the only government facility in this area, but it is not well equipped to give comprehensive care to pregnant women. Alice Nashipai, a community health extension worker, runs the facility alone. Il Paraco Dispensary has been on for four months. It's, they started in August, but it was built earlier. But in August, that's when they got on the first nurse who stayed for two months. I worked with him for two months, then he left. I'm now working alone here. Yeah. For pregnant women, since for now we have a challenge. We don't have the, the most facility, facilities like the BP machine for the antenatal care. So mothers, we advise mothers, talk to them. Then we send them to Mag we refer them to Magadi Hospital. That's where they'll get the full care for antenatal. For the pregnant mothers, we've had one case. Uh, there was a mother who was in labor. Then, you know, Magadi is far. We don't have this equipment for conducting labor. We don't have a labor ward. So we had to send her. A vehicle had to They had to hire a vehicle to Magadi to carry her, take her to the hospital. Magadi Hospital, a level 4 hospital under the Magadi Soda Company, is the only fully functional health facility within the Olkeri Group Ranch. The terrain to the facility is quite harsh, making it challenging for pregnant women to frequent the hospital for continuous medical checkups. In the last six months, the number of antenatal visits we recorded in Magadi only hospital were 1,584. Uh, and out of those numbers, the total number of those who delivered in the hospital were 136. So there is a very big uh, gap, which means about, uh, about 90 percent of them actually delivered at home. Most pregnant women only seek medication at the hospital after experiencing complications during home deliveries. The most common complications we get, which happen after maybe trial of, uh, of childbirth at home, is severe bleeding, then they present with anemias. Uh, we also get issues of obstructed labor and most, uh, a few of them end up getting fistulas. Uh, we get issues for those who manage to deliver at home, they get infections. Both the mother who will present with puberal sepsis and also the newborns. And most of the time we would find that the mothers present actually without the newborns and the report would be the baby died immediately after, after delivery. 360 Village Health, a community-based organization established to address the barriers to skilled delivery care, has been mobilizing resources to try and reverse this trend. The mission of 360 Village Health is to implement uh, evidence-based, uh, culturally appropriate interventions to address maternal and uh, child uh, issues affecting the Maasai community in Orkeri Group Ranch and Magadi Division as a whole. I did a research why Maasai women attend antenatal clinic but they live at home. Currently in Magadi Division, over 90% of women attend antenatal clinic 
but 90% of them still deliver at home. From the research that I did, there are many factors that came to play to try and explain why this is the case. Social cultural issues among the Maasai community is a deterrent for them to deliver in hospital. Pregnancy is still considered a natural process. There is lack of uh, birth preparedness when it comes to where women will deliver. Traditional birth attendants are still held in high esteem and they conduct a lot of uh, deliveries at home. Something that is very unique among the residents of Orkeri Group Ranch in Magadi is the geographical inaccessibility of the community to the existing uh, health facilities. The road infrastructure is still in its rudimentary stages. The only form of transport that exists in the area is the Magadi Railway, which only operates three times a week. And uh, because it's not ideally supposed to carry them, it is extremely difficult for any laboring woman to access any health facility in case of any emergency. Fortunately, for 360 Village Health, we are working, we have a working relationship with Manchester University School of Midwifery and we've been able to get a small grant where we will do a feasibility study looking at the perceptions of the community towards skilled birth attendants. The findings of this research in collaboration with the community uh, views will help us come up with interventions. Um, my eyes have been opened, you know, uh, all the experiences I've had in the last week uh, being here. Um, I've realised, you know, I can hear the stories when I'm sitting in Manchester, but to understand the context, you have to be here. And we've this week visited villages where Maasai women live. We've seen the distance and the terrain between the village and the available um, functioning hospital here in Magadi. And, you know, it's incredible the distance that women have to walk to get any kind of care. There are several community type interventions that can be used. Um, we think that involving men in preparing for uh, delivery. We know from evidence that maternity waiting homes have been tried in other places and this is a, an intervention we would like to take forward. They're providing somewhere adjacent to a hospital that is functioning with essential obstetric care available providing a space where women can come before they're due uh, to stay there so that they're adjacent to the facility. Uh, to, to work with TBAs because they're a very respected part of the community here. They have status, they're very much involved in, in women's care throughout pregnancy and delivery. So that's our idea but we also want to make sure that it fits with uh, the community and what they need and particularly the pregnant women um, and that's why we want to start with some research with the communities to understand what these challenges are and what the potential solutions are from the community perspective as well. Uh, we want to understand the perceptions of the community regarding skilled birth attendant. The findings of this research shall be used to come up with an, a culturally appropriate intervention that the community think it's appropriate. We're having a working relationship with Magadi Soda Company, the county government of Kajiado, and uh, a local non-governmental organization, Dupoto, uh, who will also play a major role in economic empowerment of these women. Uh, so in the next uh, two months, we hope uh, the research findings will be out, which will be disseminated to the community, and thereafter, we hope to start constructing the maternity waiting homes at Jason to Magadi Hospital. As a delivery day approaches, Kumolashu is set for yet another home delivery with a silent wish that she could deliver in hospital instead. <laughs> Carry, 
apik ake yie lelo amu kiata nye wueji nikibukoki nikipik irkeek aji nikipik boo niya oltung'ani ole kaltaa niyau omo osabuni onkibiritini